Even though breathing is something that we're doing all the time, it's something that most of us are unaware of, and that's why we're unaware of the way it's impacting our health. So for example, right now, just take a deep breath, just a deep breath in, however it comes naturally. Now what most people find when they take a deep breath is where they're breathing. So a lot of people will immediately notice they're actually breathing into their chest. And so you'll feel the chest rise, like that. And maybe we'll remember certain messages that we've heard when we were a kid or pictures we've seen on television of people puffing out their chests. And we think that maybe that's a good image. And yet, what we know now, not only from our spiritual traditions, but from science, is that breathing into the chest, or literally what people call chest breathing, is a type of breath associated with stress. In fact, we can induce a sort of experience of stress just by breathing shallow, just by breathing into the chest. So then, of course, the question becomes, well, if I'm in a stressful moment and I find myself breathing into my chest, what's the option? Well, the option is something that we call belly breathing. And you'll also hear this referred to as abdominal breathing. Now, for some of you, this may not be comfortable at first, but I'm going to encourage you to give it a try. A common question people ask about breathing exercises is, does it matter if you breathe into the nose or the mouth? Well, different techniques require different things, so pay attention. If you're learning from a book or a teacher or a CD, try to do it the way they've asked you to do it. There's a reason. But when it comes to certain breaths, like the belly breath, there are sometimes variations. I recommend breathing in through the nose and then out through the mouth. An alternative is to breathe in and out through the nose. What's important is once you've picked a pattern that suits you is to stick to it, to be regular and consistent. That way you'll get the most out of the exercise. When you do a belly breath or an abdominal breath, literally, what you want to try to concentrate on doing is breathing in past the chest and engaging the belly or the stomach muscles first. So to start, you could put your hand on your stomach and then take in a deep breath and with that breath, push the stomach muscles gently out. Again, it may take you a little time to get used to it at first, but what you'll notice is that you're actually able to breathe just into your belly without even engaging your chest. Now, of course, it's true that as you breathe deeply and as you continue to breathe into your belly, your chest will fill with air as well, and that's part of the process naturally, but we don't really need to focus on the chest. What's most important is concentrate on breathing into the belly. For some people, they find that imagining that they're actually breathing in through their navel, through the belly button, is a helpful way to stimulate the belly breath. What we know is that when we push the stomach muscles out, the diaphragm that is just below the lungs is able to descend and we get a fuller, healthier breath.